Good morning, my family in Christ. Welcome to another morning devotion. We give God praise for another day, another opportunity where we can give praise and honor to Him, where we can take time and devote, concentrate, consecrate, and dedicate ourselves to Him. Not only us, but our families. Indeed, we still celebrate fathers today, and we charge us even more of our responsibility, of our duties. And one of those fathers, we require to forgive. Yes, we require to forgive our children no matter what. That's our responsibility. We are deemed by God to live above our feelings our circumstances, and our crises. As fathers, God has called us, elevated us, appointed us higher than our feeling circumstances and crises. This is not easy, but necessary. And when we fulfill God's mandate, it may displease others. And so we may have to redo this over and over and over. Obeying God may bring resentment to someone else, another member of the family. But that means because we did it once, we have to do it again and again. And our duty as fathers is to please the Almighty God. Someone once said, that forgiveness is a decision and a promise to release a person by canceling the real debt the person has with you. It's returning to God the right to take care of justice. End quote. That's what forgiveness is. And we need to follow God in this process. Fathers, one thing that should motivate us to forgive is to focus on how God has forgiven us. Some things we did long before our children came into the picture, God had forgiven us for that. And now we see the same sin against us manifesting in our children, God says, forgiveness. Forgiveness is not an option. It's not optional, but rather a prerequisite for our own forgiveness. Fathers, we are called to show gratitude to God and forgiving others, including our own children, is acknowledging gratitude, appreciation to God for forgiving us. And our meditation today comes from Matthew chapter 6, 14 through 15. And this is Jesus' teaching on the Sermon on the Mount, teaching us so that we may understand the power of forgiveness. For if ye forgive men their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if ye forgive not men their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. The power of the Word. The Word of God to the people of God. Forgiveness creates peace. That's what we need in our families. That's what we need in the nation. We need peace. And when peace is created, it strangles resentment and the poison of bitterness. Forgiveness releases peace, strangles, kills resentment, and the poison of bitterness. Fathers, when we forgive our children, 
it lightens the burden of their restoration an investment in their lives that will have greater returns unforgiveness can never trump forgiveness and so father we thank you as we approach your throne today we honor you for forgiving us as fathers the sins of omission the sins of commission that we did long before our children even came on the scene and you forgive us and our children are dealing with the same challenges greater yet and i pray god that we will seek to forgive them no matter what it is the place of god in their lives it is the blessings of god to forgive it is gratitude to you so i pray for that father going through the difficult days of children disobeying rebellion and the likes habits that are not pleasing decisions that are not righteous god you know the terror you know the crisis you understand we put you through much and more yet you forgive us help us of the spirit of forgiveness even now and cultivate the grace of god cultivate the blessings of god even now in our families i pray for those who lead the nations likewise including our prime minister and all of parliament their families that forgiveness will rise forgiveness will live forgiveness will be alive even now we give you thanks and praise that those of us who are in the body of Christ will live this out every day forgive others as Christ forgive us and so we give you praise for the peace of Jerusalem and for families everywhere that is in particular that we live this out and forgive so that we may release peace and choke out resentment and bitterness so that the nation will indeed be forgiven and hear from heaven as we turn to you hallelujah we give you praise we give you glory we give you honor for the miracle that you're doing even today in the midst of us fathers forgive their children fathers forgive others who have wronged us so that our families will be released to peace in the name of the father and of the son and of holy spirit amen god bless you today keep you as we seek to complete and to indeed do what god has commanded us forgive just as he forgive us we are called fathers to forgive others including our children have a great day in the lord amen